Hey, Tanya, yeah, there's a sushi, a Neapolitan pizza, even a wine bar on Water Street. Lots of things going on in this area, but I think any exploration of the area has to begin with a cup of coffee. Not just any cup, though, but rather one that's been sourced from the edges of the earth, carefully, painstakingly roasted, then meticulously brewed by baristas with tons of professional training. The avocado toasts, liege waffles, and hefty breakfast sandwiches might make you think this is some sort of artisan cafe, and it is, but at Sparrow Coffee's first full-service offering in Naperville, they've moved way beyond coffee, which they've been selling to some of Chicago's best restaurants for years, training staffs on how to prepare and serve the proper cup. We wanted an outlet to be able to bring it out to the general populace. This is a very ambitious project. We wanted to do our dream cafe uh, and then work backwards at it. Yeah. A flat white that tastes exactly like um, it does in Australia or New Zealand. Uh, a cappuccino that is uh, essentially a competition spec. Um, you want something a little bit milder, you can go for the latte. Or try a pour over that comes from a robot. Uh, what we have here is a pour steady, which is essentially a robotic uh, pour over brewer. And uh, say you want Kenyan coffee and your guest uh, wants uh, Colombian coffee and then another guest wants uh, Papua New Guinea, we can do all three at the exact same time. If they don't make it in-house, they source it. Publican quality meats, pastries from Oak Park's Spilt Milk or Aya Pastry and Florial in the city. We want it to be not just for coffee, but more for like a community, a clatch. A few doors away, Cubo is the latest offering from the team behind Bien Trucha in Geneva. Well, it's authentic Mexican flavors with a modern twist. A massive bar pours some 50 different tequilas and mezcals, while the kitchen is nimble, offering whole grilled fish brushed with morita chiles, or an assortment of tacos like barbacoa topped with cheese, or not, as well as homemade salsas. A thinly sliced beet salad offers a crunchy alternative, and sikilpak, a spread made from pumpkin seeds, is a good alternative to guac. But the fish tacos are especially notable, not least of which because they're on homemade tortillas. Those are beer battered tilapia. Uh, so on top we have a mango napa cabbage, has a little bit of tomato, onion, cilantro on it, and it's uh, topped off also with our pickled onions. Everything is fresh ingredients. What we try to do is kind of take you to a trip to Mexico. And that company also has a restaurant right across the street in the hotel in Water Street. So lots of things going on cool. in that, in that area. neighborhood there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, we'll talk about a couple of things. From, these are just from Sparrow now, not from Cubo, but from Sparrow. This fantastic cold brewed coffee, which they are known for, uh, that they do in house. This is the Kyoto style cold brew coffee. Uh, but then they also source, as I said in the piece, things from spilt milk in Oak Park, mm -hmm. or from Aya Pastry in the city, or from Publican Quality Meats, like this breakfast sandwich over here. The fantastic bacon with bacon. Publican Quality Meats oh, bacon on there. Yes, uh, they that. get the bread. They just really do a nice job at Sparrow. It's a great place to hang out and have coffee or eat or whatever for the day. What okay? am I trying? Here, just a regular oh, that's just a regular they make the waffles too I'm in house they're really they're like uh, Dutch style mm -hmm. waffle yeah hey if you like that video be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel